Marhaban to our Techi friends in Arabia and hello to everyone. This is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I'm Scrappy and this is World Web Scrapping. There we go! Hello and welcome back to World Web Scrapping. This is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. Today we will talk about Google API, how to create a Google API and how to use them with Python to scrap some data from Google. Now Google has a lot of APIs and you can use those to do a lot of stuff. So we will create our Google API key today and then we will scrap some data from Google using that APIs. So let's get started. Now to create Google API key, first what you have to do is uh, you should have a Google Gmail account and if you have an account you go and click on this page and it will take you to Google Cloud Platform and from there you can start creating your API keys. So uh, you should be logged into your Google Gmail account, okay? Then you should go to this link. I will show you in detail how to do that. Now when you click on that link and it takes you to the Google Cloud Platform page. So if it is uh, your first time then uh, there may be some terms and conditions that you need to accept and after that you will see this kind of uh, blank page uh, will appear. On that blank page you will see here at the top is an option to select a project. So to create an API key, you need to have a Google Cloud project. For that, you need to create, a, if you have already a project, you can create an API key directly. If you don't have a project, you click on the select project and then it will ask you to create a new project. To create a new project, it will take you to here and uh, you click on this and create a new project and that new project you enter the name of the project and organization you don't need to add that and just simply click on create then the next when your project is created it will take you to the dashboard and there if you click on this option here the three bars menu option you can see several things there like billing and APIs and services, support, this kind of things. So guys, do you click on the API and services and click on go to the dashboard? Once you are on the dashboard here, you will see an option to enable API and services. You click on that and a pop-up will open and uh, click on that and click on enable and you will have your api and services enabled so you are done with this and you have enabled your api so guys now once uh, the api is enabled what you have to do is uh, the apis that you want to use you have to specifically go and and uh, enable those apis because as i told you that google has a lot of apis if you go here and and see is just an api dashboard library if you go to the api library and it will show you all the API libraries that Google provides. So you see there are several API libraries like Maps for Android, um, Maps for iOS, uh, JavaScript API, Places API in the map itself. There are like 15 apps. I'll show you Maps API because we will be working on Map API today. So there is uh, your Geolocation API, uh, Geocoding API, then Maps Elevation, uh, Maps Embed, and then then there are Places API and Map Static API, Roads API, then Street View Static, the Time Zone. You see these uh, lots of API available. Directions API. We will be using Directions API today. Directions API. What Directions API tells you? Direction between two places. So if you enter two places, if you want to go from one place to another, and uh, when you use uh, Google Maps, so you enter your origin and then you enter your destination and Google Maps will show you the path. It will show you the direction and it will show you how to travel from 
that place to that place if you want to use the bus or any transit system other than the car. So it will also tell you which bus to take and from where you have to take that bus. So that's what uh, Direction API does. And we will use that Direction API to find the distance and get the direction between places. So there are these all these APIs and to use all these APIs what you have to do is you have to enable them first. I have already enabled Direction API and I guess I don't have uh, let us say this Map Elevation API not have enabled this. So guys uh, to enable it um, you click on the API and you click enable and then once click enable will enable the API and then you are ready to use that API with your API keys. You have already created your API keys and you can use this API with uh, that using those API keys. Now one more thing that you need to remember is some of the API that Google will not allow extracting any data. If you have uh, not enabled billing now um, billing is that you don't have to pay anything. It is um, a one-year trial period so you can use it freely not an issue you need to provide the credit card to just verify that you are not a robot or something so you click on this billing here and you know the steps accordingly and you can enable your billing and then you can start using the APIs and so that's for creating Google APIs let's get into the coding so what I'm doing here I am importing OS so in this coding here today we will use the directions API and we will use the directions API to find directions between two places any two places you enter and Google will find you the directions for that so import OS then there is a Google Maps module in Python, a library in Python Google Maps that you should be installed to get information from Google Maps. So pipe install Google Maps. I already installed so I will not run these cells and then uh, import Google Maps. Then uh, I will be using config parser. You see remember uh, that we use this config parser using Twitter when we were scrapping data from Twitter using Twitter API. So Therefore, that uh, using this config parser again because I have extracted from my API key from Google and I have again placed that into this twitter.properties file for Google also. I have put that into twitter.properties file and I want to read that file and I want to pass those keys. So Google will give you only one key. It will not give uh, like access token and uh, authentication token else unless you specifically specify that. So if you restrict your API access and then you will need access tokens and everything. So currently I have not restricted for this for the tutorial purpose I have not restricted my API so that's why I have only one API key I don't have any access token authentication token or anything so we don't need to use for out handler here and because we don't need to authenticate here and we can just directly enter our API key and we can connect to Google so remember that now guys I'm using config parser again and this Twitter property file is the same file that I used for Twitter data except that I have added one more extra line of the key into that for Google. So those four lines uh, remains there but they will come to another one extra line that will have uh, our Google API key. So I'm using config parser. I'm creating a config object again as you did in the Twitter video and calling row config parser. And then I'm reading my file twitter.properties. So this file I have put in the same directory in which is my current working directory. So let's check our current working directory once quickly. So please remember that the file that you need to that contains your API key should be in the same directory in which you are working. So os.get uh, cwd 
and so uh, this is my current working directory and I have placed my file also the Twitter file into the directory in this folder dire folder so you should also do that and the file should be in the same folder which is your current working directory so I have done that and I have read my file and it is uh, showing me there is a Twitter section only and in that Twitter section I have put my Google API so don't worry about this why you are saying Twitter here because uh, you already know this file how to create this file and now what I'm doing is uh, I'm reading my API key again using uh, config.get this uh, we used in the Twitter video also so config.get sections uh, which section I have to read from the Twitter session and which API key I have to read Google so I name my API key as Google so read this key so it will read that key let's uh, quickly run these uh, two cells so now my API key is assigned here so if I show this API key so it will show my API key which I don't want to show right now so uh, you remember that now I will call my Google Maps library and there is a dot client method there which uh, will take your API key to connect with Google Maps and to create a Google map object so you use dot client and you assign the API key that we created here to the key and run the cell and you will have your Google Maps object now on this Google Maps object to get directions we have to call the method of the direction what I'm doing here is from date time import date time I'm using this just to enter my departure time of uh, now whenever this uh, code and just show that my departure time should be and uh, at that time that's why I'm entering here so this uh, GM now I created this Google Maps object and I have called that dot direction method on that and I have put here two locations in for which I want to get the directions results so put London and Paris and I will get the results when I run the cell mode I have put a uh, transit so uh, you can put any mode like air or whatever so if I show you what all the parameters this method takes if you click shift tab and you will get all of these things so this uh, GM direction takes the region so my region is London then it takes destination my destination is Paris mode I have put here transit and it can take other modes waypoints no need to put that if you need to specify something then you can specify so you can specify all of these things uh, you can specify the language you can specify units reason and departure times I have specified right and you can specify arrival time also departure time is not necessary you need to specify it can without that also so whatever none is coming you don't need to specify all those things and traffic model and transit mode and all of this you can specify so you see here for the origin you can specify a list of places instead of uh, just specifying a single place for origin and departure you can specify a list or a dictionary or a string or tuple and it's all work so you read this documentation and you will get to know what all you can do with this so I run the cell and now I have got uh, my direction result and I will print those result and uh, you see like I have got all the information about how to go from London to Paris so I have uh, your latitude and longitude no like uh, coordinates points and then I have uh, the arrival time if my departure time is uh, right now when I'm working this code then my arrival time will be this uh, so that's uh, what they are saying and the distance is uh, 451 kilometer and the travel time is 2 hours and 23 minutes so they are taking the train so that's why it is uh, showing that so less time for 451 kilometers so that you can do so now it is a dictionary it is a list then inside this uh, list it contains a number of dictionaries so you can access those dictionaries one by one as uh, whatever information you want you uh, can grab that and you will have all of that information and you can see here and uh, address and start address yes you can grab that or you can start the location itself 
you can grab distance and time how much time it will take and it will grab now as I told you that we are taking the train here so train towards Paris so you can get that uh, this is something weird after that arrival stop you can get the name of uh, the arrival station you can get so you can get all of this information so whatever is your requirements you, you can get all of this information according to that so uh, that's it for Google API for direction API and now I will show you the documentation of the Google map so this is a Google Maps you like uh, module and you can use all of these API's with a Google map module you can use the direction that we just use you can use distance elevation uh, geocoding geolocation time zone roads place and map static so do try that and if you need any help you can go to this documentation and it will have all the information what all the parameters you need to pass and how it how you need to use a specific API and what results or you will get so you can say check this out and read this documentation so that is all for today my tattoo friends if you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website leave your comments below and ask me any question be happy to answer them link is given in description of this video to get code and full material stay happy stay safe stay touchy